prepare your minds for action. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. This text comes from the first letter from Peter the Apostle to the churches at Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia. He was writing to those God's chosen people who made up their minds to put their faith in Jesus whose spirit has made them holy. He was encouraging them to remain holy as the Lord who made a choice of them is holy. The world is corrupt and he wanted them to remain faithful to God. Their faith in Jesus would protect them until the last day. If they go through trials, they do not have to be worried since God will honor the endurance. It would be like gold refined in a furnace. Though these people have not seen Jesus but have believed in him, they should continue to remain in the faith. They should not be controlled by their desires which could possibly ruin them. Instead, they have to stay holy, pleasing the Lord Jesus. Such a mindset would prepare them to live like God wanted them to. Whatever Peter taught those churches are so true and relevant even in this generation. It is the thought in our minds that lead us to action. If the thoughts aren't right, then we will surely be in trouble. Therefore, it is wise to have the thoughts of God and it can prepare us for His service. Prepare your minds for action. Amen.